If you have a GoDaddy website like this one and are interested in tracking Google Ads conversions, you'll probably be interested in this video. I manage Google Ads for clients and often come across GoDaddy websites that clients are using and we naturally want to track Google Ads conversions when we're running an account. So I've often searched something like this, GoDaddy Google Ads conversion tracking and read through some of these like Reddit posts and Google Help and I'll show you a couple, but they're not very thorough. So I want to do this video to kind of answer this question as it stands right now. So like this person asked, uh, you know, conversion tracking for Google ads with GoDaddy website. Has anyone had any luck with this setup? GoDaddy's website builder doesn't let you add code to the head of the web pages, only gives you the option to add a Google Analytics tracking ID. So some people said I'd stick to WordPress. One person pointed out that you can add HTML code, which isn't gonna solve the problem. This person mentioned, the, I think I got it working by importing the conversion from Google Analytics, which is an option to track some conversions, but not all, I'll show you which ones. I actually posted a video here on Google Tag Manager that kind of goes into the analytics part. But basically what it comes down to is in the GoDaddy website builder, you can go into edit your site and then click on settings in the upper right hand corner. And they do allow you to add a Google Analytics tracking ID. So if you set up a Google Analytics account, you can add your tracking ID here, which is gonna track all your stats in analytics. And that would include certain events that you can set up there, like visiting a thank you page, or it can uh, track form submissions. This will allow you to import events from Google Analytics as a conversion in Google Ads. And I go into detail on this on another video, so I'll link to that in the description and show you the exact place timestamp in that video to view if you wanna do this. But basically this is gonna allow you to track form submissions or visits to a specific page on your GoDaddy website. So like on this example site, if someone were to click on the contact us and fill out this form, this is something I could track with the built-in tracking in GoDaddy using Google Analytics. However, if someone were to call a phone number, I don't have any way to track that. So Google Ads is a built-in script that you can install for tracking phone calls using a forwarding number, but the GoDaddy website builder doesn't allow scripts to be added in the head tags of the website, so you're not able to do any type of call tracking. With some clients, we also use a tool like CallRail for call tracking. You're also not gonna be able to use anything like this on a GoDaddy website. So really the bottom line with GoDaddy websites right now is they're not ideal if you're doing Google Ads advertising and you want to track conversions. You will be able to use this Google Analytics setup to track basic form submissions, visits to certain pages on your site, but there's not gonna be any tracking for phone calls. And it's phone calls from the website specifically that you won't be able to track. You will be able to track phone calls that come directly from the ad and those would be running through a call asset. So under assets, if you click on call, you can see your call assets or create a new one, but these are phone numbers that appear right next to the ad and then people can click on them on mobile to call you directly. Those will be tracked because those are automatically tracked within Google ads. It's really phone calls from the website that can't be tracked. It might not sound like a big deal, but for some advertisers, phone calls from the website are a large portion of the conversions we wanna track. So it's kind of a deal breaker. If you're a small advertiser and you already have a GoDaddy website, you might be able to get away with this and just track what you can. But for those of you who maybe are spending more money, you're probably gonna to wanna to move away from the GoDaddy website builder if you are spending you know, a reasonable budget on Google Ads. If you are interested in getting a different website, maybe uh, one hosted on WordPress, you might be interested in my website package. I build sites for anyone, including my advertising clients, my Google Ads clients, so I'll leave a link for you to check that out. And then I also manage Google Ads accounts, so you might also be interested in my Google Ads management service. Hopefully GoDaddy will improve this in their website builder eventually, but until then, I wanted to make this video to kind of clarify this issue that's not very clear when you go through the, uh, the Google results on this issue. So hopefully that helps. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment, like the video if you found it useful, and make sure to check out some of my other videos. I'm gonna link to a few of them in the description below.